on this episode. We're headed to some new ground. We know it's in a great location. Tons of hard rock mines and workings nearby to feed water to this location tell us that the gold's probably going to be good, and we can't wait. So join us as we head to some awesome new Watch ground with our new friend Mike. Yeah, you're going to have to come. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Let's see, three gates and a road that washed out on the way to the gold. I think maybe that means the gold might be good. We're hoping. Put it in four low. Yeah, buddy, here you go. Here you go. Woo! Yeah! Oh, oh man. Woo! Woo! All right, well, the truck is free. That's a damn oh, Woo! <laughs> Look at this. Wow. You're up against the hill. He's got a two go feet. Stop. 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 There you go. There you go. Yeah! Going down there to the ditch. Okay, so we're going down right See, see I, usually, I usually go right over here because it's easier for me. Yeah, let's follow you. Right. Look at this awesome oh, ditch. Look how much work this thing must have taken. Bear poop, been stepped on. This is a freaking ditch. This is an old time ditch here. Hand stack wall we're walking along. Look at this. That's some blue glass right there. That's some old glass. You don't see that color very often. You ready, Mike? Hell yeah. Look what Mike found. That is pretty cool. That's an old one too. Yeah. Wow, cows were brutal up here, huh? More cowbell. More cowbell. <laughs> like go, sure. go Kings. That's cool, dude. Right on. Your pack. Yeah. That's a good find on the way down. Right? Today is going to be an awesome day. Yep. I say that all the time, but I really think that today is going to be a really good day. There are areas up there with mining encampments. So today, who we got? We got Justin. We got Don. <laughs> we have Top Cat, Todd. Got Mike. This is the main man. This is the claim owner. We got Jacob, Israel. So everyone's super excited. We're all going to kind of split up now and start searching. I think I'm going to start swinging on a bunch of this bedrock here. I think this guy is upriver. Looks like Todd's headed that way. Everybody else is kind of headed downriver. We'll see what we could come up with. Hopefully we'll have some gold. I think we might. All right, got the first little bit of gold for the day. Let me show you. Check that out. And he's got a little color himself. He found got? Malcolm Gold here. Yeah, oops, sorry, Mike. A little Malcolm Nugget. Oh, yeah. Covered in mercury. Yep. Malganized gold, baby, from the course nice. gold. Is that nice. gold too in there? Yeah, that's yeah. all little flakes in there, man. Right yeah. off the top. Nice. Yeah. There was a ton of lead in there. Did you hear it on a metal detector? Or you just painted yeah. it. I don't yeah. got a detector. It's yeah. the first hole I went up to. <laughs> Yeah. A little bit. Not a nice gold covered in mercury. Mercury, mercury Mike. Mercury. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got a name named Mercury Mike. Right there. Uh, it is. I guess my new name. There we go. Ooh, we got a nice piece in there, dude. Oh, there's some gold. We got gold. Yeah, buddy. On the gold. Heck yeah. Did you dug there and you found gold? This is what was on top of the hole in the gold left. Or where I found gold. <laughs> That's awesome. That's like an old pulley or something. Yeah. Or no, probably an ore cart yeah, wheel. Or something. Cart wheel. Yeah. yeah, I got a bunch of I got those, some of those in my yard. That is cool. That it's got custom there. rims, man. Custom or ca rims, or spinners, cart. Those man. ore carts wheels are intricate, nice man. That's spinners. pretty cool. It's heavy, <laughs> man. Yeah. Check that out. That is an ore cart wheel. 
that means we're in the right spot guys I'm gonna head up this way so I'm pretty sure there's a mine somewhere up here there's another ore cart wheel what's funny is I've seen three of them so far the one that Jacob had the one that was downstream and this one and all three of them have a different pattern to them this part's different And again, there's some more track. So there's a mine up here. This creek is just so full of iron. Look, here's another ore cart wheel, or part of it, down here. That, that right there sounds really loud like iron. And look at this crack. I think I'll pan that crack out. Look at all the iron targets in there. These are old uh, stakes. Uh, that hold down the tracks, the ore carts. We'll dig that out and pan it. Tell you what, these crevicing tools that Two Toes makes are awesome. Not many tools could get in here like this, into this crack down in here like that. Look, there's a square nail down in here. I have a feeling this pan's gonna have a lot of heavies in it. So here's that pan. There was a little bit of gold in it. You see those little, just a little bit. Lots of iron. Look at, I took all the iron out already. All that iron bits. There's this pretty cool right here too. Where'd it go? Oh, it's river rounded, but it's a, a pyrite cube. Almost the size of a dice pocket that guy it's kind of cool okay look at this gold that's some nice gold that's sizable I mean it's a picker but it's it's thick see that Another one too, a little bit smaller. Oh. Nice, we're getting there. Just need about 5,000 more. I was just telling Jacob I've hardly filmed at all because I've been so busy looking for gold. And when you're in these creeks, it's really hard to move around. You don't get a lot of times to just whip out the camera and start filming. It's very treacherous and really hard on the body, so decided, I, what the heck, I'll pull out the camera. I think we're gonna poke around right here. Jacob's already poking around right here. But um, I crossed, and I'm hearing maybe a little bit of something in one of these cracks right here. I'll just dig it out and see what it is. Something to consider when working these small creeks. They usually tend to have less gold than you would find at the river. The rivers usually have an accumulation of gold from these feeder creeks. The gold you may find here, though, oftentimes is usually chunkier. So searching the creeks could pay off big time. If you do find gold on a creek, usually it'll have a little more mass to it and not be as worn. This is a good indication that it's fallen not far from where the main source is. Working these creeks takes a whole lot more patience, but also could pay off a whole lot more in the end as well. Where's the gold from that crop? Basically right in here. And then right up in there. Right up in there. Let's go. Boy, I tell you what, this is one beautiful canyon. Look at how much work. See all that stuff up there? That's all hand stacked. This right here even is hand stacked. And this is a good sign. When you see this hand stacking here, 
That means that they mucked this stuff out and they did it for a reason because this creek was really rich. What I'm hoping for is that some of the stuff on the edge maybe, they're kind of um, overlooking to some degree, mucking it out and stacking up on the edge. Some of this stuff might be, um, have some hidden gold that the old timers necessarily didn't miss, but um, just kind of overlooked because they were focusing on this. So I have a few targets right in here. All of this actually, this is one of the spots, um, one of the only spots that reminds me of the spot that I hit up there with a nice chunky picker where there was just tons of targets and I just started digging all the cracks. This is kind of similar here. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just start busting all this stuff up and I'm gonna pan it out. And um, hopefully we get some gold. There goes Jacob right there. So it feels like fall and it smells like it too. We were just talking about that. For some reason it smells like it's fall and it feels like it. It's February. This is a trip. Oh, woo. You got it. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> I had really high hopes for these targets. They sounded a lot like gold, though they probably were lead or iron targets. I can't remember exactly what they were, but I'll tell you what, they weren't gold. However, there was a good amount of gold that traveled with them. I busted that up, and I busted that up. There's still material in there, I gotta clean that out. Next, I'm gonna dig this crack. This is the other crack that had the signals in it. Here's what I got. Not bad. Not a bad pan. You see that piece right there? That's a coarse piece. This stuff isn't super flat since it's not at the river, so hopefully it adds up good in the end. So I think we're just about to wrap up today. It's been an awesome day. I found a little bit of gold. I mean, I didn't find much, but I have something to show you guys. So when we get home, I'll clean that up and I'll share that with you. Um, I don't know, how'd you guys do? Hey. Found the one picker. Yeah? Yeah, yeah right? Nice. Woo! You Still got some gold this. too? <laughs> yeah, I did all right. Nice. I got it, whatever it was. Take that out of there and protect over it. Jacob's still up river. We're just waiting for him to come down. We're kind of just playing around down here. We have a pretty rough hike up. We have to hike up a creek. And then we take that channel back, that um, man dug channel. So it was an awesome day though. The temperature, the weather, everything outside is just freaking amazing. So I'm really glad I got out today. While most people would frown at that little bump of the road, or lack thereof, I kind of was smiling on the inside. That just means you got to work that much harder to get to where you're going, which also means the gold's probably that much better. It doesn't always mean that, but hey, that's what I was thinking on this trip. And turns out, I wasn't too far off. I know I always say it around this time, but I had a blast on this adventure, and I can't wait for the next one. I also can't wait to share it with you. So hit that notification bell, make sure you're subscribed, and we'll see you on the next one. As always, heavy pans.